Today we have a brand new feature using Generative Fill in Photoshop. It allows us to generate similar images. So if you like a variation, you can create similar variations over and over until you get the perfect example. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we're going to show you Generate Similar. This feature is in beta right now in Photoshop. So go ahead and download that beta and you'll have access to Generate Similar right now. So we got this cool image of our skateboarder dude here. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to hit L for my lasso tool. First thing, I want to make it look like he's jumping over something a little bit bigger and scarier than a <laughs> manhole cover. So I just use the lasso tool to kind of like select the ground right over there. We're going to click where it says generative fill. Boom. And I'm going to just put like a whole sink hole <laughs> dark drain, you know, I just want it to look like he's jumping over a big hole in the ground. All right, let's maybe I'll take off the word drain, just dark. There we go. And then click on generate. So of course, it's going to give us a lot of different variations of what a hole is going to look like. I have no idea what it's actually going to do. Uh, I just know I want it to be cool. <laughs> I want him to look like he's jumping over something big and scary, you know. Uh, I could put a monster in there that's also, you know, kind of fun and scary. But a hole seems relevant for this image, and I think it's going to make it really cool. All right, so almost done generating, and you can see here we have a hole. Here we have another hole. That's a good option here. And then we have another hole there. So let's say we like this hole, because I do. I, it's, a, <laughs> it's a good hole. <laughs> so what we want to do is basically go right over here to our variation. We're going to click on this dot, dot, dot. And for the first time ever, we have generate similar. So let's go ahead and click there. And it's going to take that information. It's going to say, OK, cool. You like this? Well, let me go ahead and make a few different versions that look kind of like this. That's the idea here with generate similar is we can create more holes that look like this and the less that look like these other types of holes. So hopefully it gets back to us. This feature is in beta, so you never know. Uh, it's going to continue to get refined until it gets into full version of Photoshop. But yeah, it killed it, right? These other holes look pretty similar. Oh, that's even scarier. Okay, if we like this one, now look at this. We can go over here and do it again. Generate similar. So I'm kind of like telling the AI, like, okay, that's a good hole. <laughs> keep. I can't keep from laughing right now. But you get the idea, right? Like, <laughs> we're training. We're, give, we're getting, giving it a thumbs up. It's like, okay, go in that direction and give me more variations of like that sort of thing until we're looking pretty good. And you know what? That looks really good there. Okay, now I have an idea. I'd like to put like flowers over here as well because I was like, that that would just be real cool if we had some flowers on, on the left and the right there. All right, let's click on generative fill and I'm going to type in flowers. Of course, there's a billion types of flowers. So let's click on generate. We don't know, uh, you know, what it's going to generate. Keep in mind though, uh, the cool thing here is because this selection that I'm going to do for these flowers is different from the whole, I can still go back in the variations and choose different ones at any time if I'd like. All right, so we've got some flowers there. Let's go through our different flower options. We can see, I'm like, okay, those look cool as compared to the orange ones or the purple ones. I like these ones, the white ones. And let's try it again, dot, 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 generate similar right over here. And now we're going to have more similar flowers to this uh, flowers. <laughs> you get the idea. All right, and here we have our variations of flowers. And you can see they do look pretty similar, especially that one. Like that looks almost like the same exact flowers as this one, but we have our different variations. I think I like the original one. That, that's pretty cool. So jumping over the hole with some flowers on the side. There we go. So we've got our hole looking really good. Now I want to expand using generative expand. And guess what? We can use generate similar on generative expand as well. So let's go ahead here to our crop tool. We're going to click on our image and then you just click and drag down here. Fantastic. And then we can just where it says fill, just click on generative expand. Make sure that's on generative expand so it doesn't use the traditional crop tool. There we go. And click on generate. Fantastic. And it's just going to basically fill in the detail with whatever it thinks should be there. And basically, it's just going to, in this case, give us a, a bigger hole, right? <laughs> so it makes this even more impressive, right? 
cool. Look at that. And we have a few different options for this. I think this one looks pretty good. If you want to, you can click on like, okay, that one looks really good. Like, are you really jumping over that giant hole? And again, if you want to, you can just click dot, dot, dot here and go ahead and click generate similar, even though these were, you know, kind of similar to begin with, uh, but you can use generative, uh, generate similar on generative expand, which is also incredibly, incredibly cool. So here we are, we are generating our new version of this based on this version. Ah, cool. This one's got a curve on it. All right. That one's got a thing on it. Okay. This one's nice and clean edges. And look at that, man, that that's, <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to jump that thing on a skateboard. I, I would just fall. I, I don't know how to ride a skateboard at all. So <laughs> there you go. So here's our original image. As we can see it, we added this whole using generate similar, and then we went ahead and generative expanded out to that. And I think it's absolutely killer. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget this feature is in beta right now. So if you want to generate similar, download that beta in Photoshop and you're good to go. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you want to get more free tutorials, click on that subscribe button. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.